So, uh, so a lot of the recognition of um, the exiled questions comes from deprogramming, um, from stepping outside the normal um, paradigms, belief systems, lenses, uh, and habits, really. It's really about habits. So I mentioned one of the habits earlier on, which was um, find the culprit, you know, find the person to blame. And that's how many people um, reflexively respond when they face a situation of injustice uh, or, or something, you know, like, I mean, I could take the, the you know, pandemic response as an example. Like, and I don't know about your audience, but I think that there was an awful lot of horrible policy that caused huge amounts of unnecessary illness and suffering. And so the habit is who are the dastardly villains who deliberately perpetrated this crime? That's the habit. Well, if there is any other explanation, you're not gonna see it if you're fixated on finding the dastardly villains. If you put down that lens, then so much more opens up to your vision that had been invisible before. And that's that, so that's, that's what I've learned to do is to put down some of these um, habitual rubrics, habitual filters on reality. And then other things become obvious. And, and so that's just one of them, find the villain, you know, find the enemy. Uh, there's a, a lot of uh, these cognitive filters and organizing principles that, that we've learned um, you know, in modern society, through our schooling, through our economy, um, through uh, our education in science. Uh, a lot of them are built into science. Like, like one of them would be um, find something to measure. You know, find the 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 uh, reductive cause. Um, find uh, look for who's in charge. You know, as a as a theory of change, convince somebody in charge to change something. Um, yeah, there's there's. I'm not going to try to catalog all of the uh, these hidden templates and habits, but that's the basic principle. Is that that then reveals questions that are not being asked. Mm 